This is Scampy. Scampy uh, is a little kitty that came in and she, she jumped off an eight foot roof and she's not really using her leg. You can see how she's got it buckled. Um, yeah, you want, you want a little bit of love, huh? Anyway, so um, we're, when we check a leg in a kitty, it's often due to cat bite abscesses. So you look for swelling and, and you can feel for crusts or wounds, um, scabs. And so you can fill up and down the leg and um, you can see if there's an abscess brewing. That's the most common thing. I mean, that's probably 90% of the painful things we see in kitties. And then if it's not that, then you can look at the toes. You start, whenever there's a painful foot, you always start at the bottom. And be really careful with cats because they'll, they'll bite you in a heartbeat uh, and scratch. So, but Scampy's nice. Aren't you? Yeah. See, he likes black. Anyway, so um, the, so you always check and see if uh, the pads are swollen or infected, so there's no bite wounds or breaks down here. The wrist is working, and then and then as I came up here and I looked at the elbow, he started to shake, and and I couldn't, I can't really extend the elbow very well, and that hurts. So when he landed. He, he landed down on his elbow, and see, he says, don't do that, so I'm going to quit. When cats tell you to quit, you quit. So anyway, we're going to give Scampi a little bit of Anna, a little bit of sedative, and then we're going to take x-rays and see if he actually has a fracture in that elbow, or if he just stressed the elbow and pulled a ligament, and it will heal up. Okay, Scampi, and I'm just going to also... Uh, sprain the muscle so you can see there's a if I squeeze on the tricep muscle here there's just lots of pain um, when an animal is painful you can see the jerk and I can actually feel knots in the muscle when Scampi jumped out the roof she really strained her muscle and that might be the reason she's so sore Which right now she's saying just quit it well, look at her isn't that cute she wants some pets you like that? You like that? Huh? You do like that. You're a cute cat. Let's see how she's holding that. She doesn't want to put weight on that foot, but she certainly wants a lot of attention. <laughs> we'll put her back now. So we're giving uh, Scampi a little bit of a uh, sedative to make sure that it feels good, good for the x-rays. So there's Scampi and you can see he's holding, uh, it's a little girl. She's holding the leg up and she's meowing. She's saying, I don't want to be in here. But I'll, but okay, if I have to be, I have to be. I can see she's not putting much weight on that leg. So, um, when an animal puts, if an animal puts weight on the leg, it's not broken. But when they can't put on the leg, weight on the leg, it could be an abscess or infection. It could be a strained muscle or pulled muscle, could be a pulled or strained ligament, or it could be a broken bone. Everybody assumes every animal that limps has a broken bone. And usually, that's actually the rarer event. It's usually an infection or a strained muscle or ligament. Well, after the sedation, we're a little more sedate. We're just looking around, the cage door's open. But we're not giving a total anesthetic. We're just sedating a little bit. Now, some animals require an anesthetic in order to um, manipulate the leg for x-rays so that's what we have to do it because when you see it what we have to do you'll realize it's not easy we can't tell the animal just to lay there and assume the pose that's best for us to x-ray we have to kind of pull the leg into positions so it's not really that comfortable it's the front right, right? Yeah, so we have to measure up the foot in order to get the width so we can see what what the um, x-rays, the depth of the x-ray has to penetrate the leg. And so as we do it when they're in the table, but then we also do it out here when they're waiting for the x-ray. And we got the x-ray machine warming up. It's a digital x-ray machine. And you can see we're all dressed up in all our x-ray garb so to protect us from the from the beams and the rats 
So we're going to see if we can get this x-ray taken. Uh, Actually, no, we're just doing the elbow. You can hold it. We're just doing the elbow. So we do have to hold the kitty by the scruff. No, we're and doing the pain and cloud at first as we <laughs> So you can see it's not always easy. Animals, they don't like it. So the x-ray light shows where the x-ray is going to be taken. And the white plate, the, the light shows where the beam's going to be focused. And just as long as all of our hands and everything are outside the beam, that's good. So we're going to wear lead and gowns, and then we'll put on a lead glove in order to hold the foot in the right place. Some clinics use anesthetic for every shot, and sometimes for these we, we just protect ourselves. The beep shows that the shot's been taken for the one view, and then we have to get another plate and go with the other view. Yeah. I know, that's what I was thinking though. But anyway, so we're going to uh, take a lateral, and that's with the kitty in the lateral position you know, on its side. And uh, no, I know I mean. this elbow's going to be a little bit sore to hold, to stretch out. But Scampi's being very nice. So same thing, we're, we're getting all, everything in position. So Scampi's x-rays are up, and what I was mostly concerned with was that in this humerus, which is this bone, that there's no fractures, and there's no lines through it anywhere uh, that show fractures. And the elbow joint, which at first I thought was involved, but now I think it's mostly up in here. Uh, it appears to be all in, in place. This is where I think the problem is. I think when Scampi jumped off the roof, the owner said he jumped off the roof about eight feet, and I think he pulled one of the muscles in his tricep muscle, which tricep has three muscles in one, and I think he strained these muscles. So, so a few hours after an, a pain shot, I used cortisone, dexamethasone. You can use um, also, there are some NSAIDs like Medicam you can give cats. You can see that now she's balancing on that foot and Scampi's happy and ready to go home now. Scampi, does that feel better? And Scampi's quite a lover, as you can see. I think Scampi's ready to go home. See, look, so she's putting some weight on it, which is a good thing. We'll send her home for Christmas. Well, cats can, are usually sore because they get bite wounds in their pads or their joints or their skin. And usually I'll see uh, some swelling at the side and you feel up and down the leg carefully. You'll feel some crusts and if you can pull the crusts off, um, sometimes the abscess will just, the, the, the abscess will drain and you can keep it clean and um, cats are the greatest healers there are. But um, if there's a lot of swelling and, and the cat has a temperature and won't eat, it's often better to get a vet to check it out so that you can get some antibiotics to fight the infection to get the swelling and pain down. And unfortunately, cats can't take a lot of anti-inflammatory anti, um, because they are so sensitive to a lot of drugs. So we do use uh, some cortisones for them and some pain relievers like Buprenex. Uh, Medicam's used, uh, it's an NSAID, but it's only used once or twice because uh, it can have problems, cause problems with the kidneys. But I just wanted to let you know that um, cats are the greatest healers there are. And sometimes after a few days, you'll say, gosh, everything's better. And I'm glad. So you might want to wait a day or two on a sore leg. As long as they're not acting, acting too painful, if any animal eats, it's always a good thing. Because if an animal eats, it means they're not too painful. Anyway, uh, check out my site, Dog Dish Diet, and my two books, uh, Dog Dish Diet and Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet, and I teach you how to slow cook with Feed Your Pet. Um, and in Dog Dish Diet, we talk about avoiding allergens like wheat um, and sometimes beef. Animals can be allergic to many different things. Some are can't uh, stomach t uh, chicken. Some uh, don't do well with beef. Some most uh, don't tolerate grain if they do have allergies. But it's funny how many things they can be allergic to, like to peas or green beans or rice. Uh, but we're finding more and more dogs and cats are allergic to wheat and chicken. So 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the movie and have a great day.